It's tough enough being stuck in your bubble on your own, let alone with small children or teenagers. Of course, they're an absolute joy, but not only are they looking to you for care and guidance, but you've also got to do all the important things like feed them, entertain them, and get them to bed too. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more? <laughs> And what's more, they'll be likely to be going through their own stuff too. Missing friends, missing school, being active, having interesting things to do, and all the developmental stuff that's going on for teens too. You may well be on top of all this, but if you're not, here's some quick tips about what you can do to help assure and educate your small and not so small people about COVID-19 and everything that being in your bubble and staying at home is gonna bring up for them. Children react differently to stress than adults. They may become withdrawn or act in a more babyish or younger than their years way. They may seem anxious or clingy or maybe preoccupied with illness in their play or drawing. Other ways in way it might show itself is through sleeping issues or nightmares or getting physical symptoms like stomach aches or headaches. I know, it's hard for everyone. Just shut up! But if these become persistent, then it might be something to get some help with. Here's some quick tips. Reassure them that they're safe and try to encourage them to talk about how they feel. Tell them they can ask questions and answer these in plain language appropriate to their age. Be honest, but avoid details that may cause distress or cause anxiety. Did you guys pick up on that? Sure oh, did. Well. Something's wrong. Tell them that feeling upset or afraid is normal and it's good to talk about it and that they'll feel better soon. Be understanding. They may have problems sleeping, throw tantrums or wet the bed. Be patient and reassuring if this happens. With support and care, it will pass. Give your children extra love and attention at this time. It's okay to spoil them a bit with that right now. And remember that children look to their parents to feel safe and to know how to respond. Reassure them. Share that you are are upset too appropriately but that you know you will all be fine together and if you're finding things hard that's common these are extraordinary circumstances and you're doing your best if you need support please don't be afraid to reach out all of us need help sometimes and finally try to keep to normal routines as far as you can structure is important meal times bedtimes etc and allow them to burn off their energy as much as you can in your bubble and where you can safely go remember don't force it if your child is getting distressed in the conversation that you're having about covid19 or anything else whilst you're in your bubble at alert level four then reassure them and end it and come back to it another time when they might be feeling more ready however if your child's distress is escalating or they're displaying any worrying behaviors such as extreme withdrawal or terror that you can't comfort them from, then call or text 1737 and talk with a trained counselor for free 24 seven. Hey, I hope this is helpful. Stay in your bubble. I'll see you again here tomorrow. I'm Saab Johal and I'm still not going anywhere. For a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down.